So many people hate the first film. So many people felt it was such a disappointment and one of Kevin James' worst films. That is, of course, before they ended up seeing Zookeeper. So why would they make a sequel? I have no idea. So don't get me wrong, I actually liked the first uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop. I thought it was okay, it was pretty decent, there was some really funny things about it, and it does have this strangely subtle and a little bit of an intelligent parody of action films, where it's not like all in your face and absolutely hysterical, it's, it's kind of weird. And I think it's way better than most people think, but I still feel it's an average movie. And that's mainly because the first 45 minutes is pretty boring. And... Just... Eh. So now they make the sequel, and... Oh, yeah, it's unnecessary and bad. It's not as bad as you would think it is. It's still bad, though. So anyone who actually liked the, fir the first Paul Blart Mall Cop might end up actually being pissed by this sequel right away. I know I was pretty aggravated. Basically, all the things that happens in the first film, of, of, her, of him getting the girl and all that, and getting married, and all this good stuff that this first one leads up to is all taken away and we all start from scratch with Paul Blart 2 because after six days of marriage the girl d divorces him and his mother gets hit by a milk truck and now all he has left is his daughter and the worst part about it is it's the first scene is all done through narration by him and when he cries, it's so babyish that it feels like he should have been played by Adam Sandler. It's, it starts off with one of the worst intros. One of the... So Paul Blart gets invited to this security guard convention in Las Vegas. And he takes his daughter and they're on a little bit of a vacation and unfortunately all these top high-class thieves decide to steal a bunch of art in the muse in the hotel in the or the the casino hotel casino and again it becomes Paul Blart doing everything in his power to stop the heist and in the same usual manner as the first one practically yeah it it is a complete copy of the first one, just put into a different situation with different people and just done worse. Now don't get me wrong, there's still some funny parts, there's still some entertaining parts, and just like the first one, the second half of the film is better than the first half because it gets more into the parody. The only problem is it does it more in your face and just more obnoxiously than it does in the first one. There's also this love interest that doesn't need to happen in the movie, but it does, and it gets to a point where it gets too much, where it's like, I get it, I get what you're doing, just just shut up, just get to the actual movie. I mean, this love interest is like, it's like a useless point in the movie. And I'm not talking about the girl on the horse in the trailer, because that is literally the end of this movie. It is. It's the end of this movie. Sorry, sorry for spoiling that, but I don't think you want to be. I don't think you care about spoilers for Paul Blart Mall Cop Two. And for you, for those who like the first one, who haven't seen it in a long time, and then go to Mall, Paul Blart Mall Cop Two and see it, and think, "Wow, this is actually a really great sequel." Well, it's probably because you had not seen the first one in quite a bit and it's been so, because there's been so many years between these two movies that it's almost like, let's try to copy everything we did in the first one, put it to a different setting and different villains, 
put it right in this movie, and no one will know the difference because it's been so long that the first movie came out. It's genius. <sighs> Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 is a completely useless, unneeded sequel that has some entertainment value and has some funny moments, but ultimately it still comes down to it's completely unnecessary. So, I was originally going to give Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 two stars, but I think I'm going to go with one and a half. So, have you seen Paul Blart Mall Cop 2? What did you think about it? Go ahead and comment. If you haven't seen the movie, then what is your favorite Kevin James movie? Please do not say Zookeeper. Do not say Zookeeper. For, God, for the love of God, do not say that. And if you like this video, if you want to see more reviews, go ahead and subscribe or check my playlist for 2015 movies. I've got... I'm probably going to have up to 50 pretty soon. So, as always, this is Bruce Gifford, and this was just my opinion.